The Jenny Smoking Incident, a microcosm of power dynamics and public perception in K-pop. B-L-A-C-K-P-I-N-K's Jenny has found herself at the center of a heated controversy following an incident involving indoor smoking during preparations for the Jackamus fashion show. This event has ignited a fervent debate among Korean netizens, revealing underlying issues related to power dynamics, public perception, and the scrutiny faced by K-pop idols. On July 10, a netizen claiming to be a staff member present at the Jackamus fashion show preparation site defended Jenny in an online community post. They clarified that the room was not designated as a non-smoking area and that permission to smoke was asked of everyone before Jenny began vaping. The netizen detailed that Jenny was using a bubble pen from a convenience store when her makeup staff turned around unexpectedly. According to the post, Jenny apologized multiple times to the staff member involved, who was reportedly also a smoker. The alleged staff member's defense concluded by acknowledging that blowing smoke in someone's direction is problematic, but argued that this incident alone should not lead to broader accusations about Jenny's character. They expressed frustration that the incident was being misunderstood and blown out of proportion. Despite this defense, many Korean netizens remained unconvinced and critical of Jenny's actions. The credibility of the defending netizen was called into question, with many pointing out that smoking is banned in all indoor areas in Italy, where the fashion show took place. This detail casts doubt on the defense and raises questions about compliance with local regulations. Critics did not hold back in their disapproval. Comments ranged from questioning the authenticity of the defending netizen to condemning the power dynamics at play. One netizen remarked, Well what is a paid worker like her supposed to say when her job is on the line? Get angry. Of course, she'll say it's fine when it's not. This comment underscores the perceived imbalance in the relationship between idols and their staff, suggesting that staff members may feel pressured to defend their employers regardless of personal feelings. Other netizens focused on the broader implications of the incident, arguing that indoor smoking should be banned outright and not subject to permission or consent. Indoor smoking shouldn't be an issue of permission or consent. It should be banned, period, commented one netizen, reflecting a stricter stance on public health and safety regulations. The incident also sparked a discussion about the nature of power relationships within the entertainment industry. Comments like, if the staff go on treating the artists like their masters, who can get away with anything, these kinds of unbalanced power relationships will never improve, highlight concerns about the hierarchical dynamics that often characterize the K-pop industry. Such dynamics can lead to a culture where staff members feel compelled to defend or excuse the behavior of idols, further entrenching power imbalances. Additionally, the incident has brought to light the intense scrutiny that K-pop idols are subjected to, with every action and misstep magnified and dissected by the public. The harsh criticism directed at Jenny for blowing smoke in someone's face, whether intentional or accidental, is indicative of the high standards and expectations placed on idols. This relentless scrutiny can have significant implications for their public image and mental health. In response to the backlash, Jenny's agency, ODD Atelier, issued a statement apologizing for the idol's actions. While this move is standard practice in damage control, it also underscores the agency's role in managing the fallout and mitigating the impact on Jenny's reputation. From a critical perspective, the Jenny smoking incident serves as a microcosm of the larger issues within the K-pop industry. It highlights the complex interplay between public perception, power dynamics, and the stringent expectations placed on idols. The defense put forth by the alleged staff member, while well-intentioned, was met with skepticism and did little to sway public opinion. Instead, it accentuated the inherent power imbalances and the challenges of navigating public scrutiny in the highly competitive and image-conscious world of K-pop. In conclusion, the controversy surrounding Jenny's indoor smoking incident reflects broader societal and industry-specific issues. It underscores the need for a more balanced and nuanced approach to addressing incidents involving public figures, 
one that considers the complexities of power dynamics, regulatory compliance, and the intense scrutiny faced by idols. The incident serves as a reminder of the importance of accountability, both for the individuals involved and the industry as a whole, in fostering a more equitable and respectful environment.